With the seventh selection in the first round of the 2010 first year player draft, the New York Mets select Matt Harvey, a right-handed pitcher from UNC Chapel Hill, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. With the 13th selection of the 2011 first year player draft, the New York Mets select Brandon Nimmo, an outfielder from Cheyenne East High School, Cheyenne, Wyoming. The Florida Marlins have the next pick and they are now on the clock. One of the great stories from this draft, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Nimmo just selected in the first round and playing his prep baseball in Wyoming, one of three states in America with no high school baseball. He had to play Legion ball. Nimmo is now the highest drafted player in Wyoming history. Of the dozen Wyoming players selecting the 45-year history of this draft, the highest pick was pitcher Michael Beaver, who went to the Phillies in the sixth round in 1966. He's an outfielder, six foot two. He bats left. Let's shine the spotlight on Wyoming's own Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo for Cheyenne East High School in Wyoming, center fielder. I don't have high school baseball in Wyoming. I've had to work pretty hard to get where I'm at because I don't get noticed that much. When I was younger, I really looked up to King Griffey Jr. I really liked Torrey Hunter too, really good center fielder all around. One catch that I can always remember is the Jim Edmonds catch. He dove over his head and caught that ball and I mean, that's just amazing. First time the Mets have taken a high school outfielder since 03 when they took Lastings Millage. As you see, a notable player is born in Wyoming. Mike Lansing, Tom Browning, a great career. John Buck currently playing backstop for the Florida Marlins. Oh, wow. Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. I mean, didn't play any high school baseball, and he's taken in the first round, John. Look, hats off to the Mets, Chad McDonald and, and his staff over there. Look, th this is a pitching draft. They knew if they wanted a bat, they were going to have to go reach up and get it. They took an upside guy here. Look, I, I threw four sixes on his future. I, I, I think he's going to hit. He's going to hit with power. Uh, he's, going, he's, a, he's a runner right now. I, I think he'll only get stronger. He's going to be a plus defender, solid average arm. This is, again, a young player they're going to put in the system. Remember, they drafted David Wright as a you know, a young high school type player, you're looking at this, this is what they need to do. Take the upside guys that have a chance to really help them. Well, I think the one thing, too, seeing and playing at City Field, the left-handed bat comes into play more so than, than, than the right-hander. That's very difficult to hit home runs in, in left field. So I think being able to pull a ball into the corner, we've seen what's happened with Ike Davis and a lot of the left-handers going yard in that ballpark to right field. I think that plays into it as well. But what an amazing story, Peter. No high school baseball? No, that's a great story. And this is a pure scouting story. I mean, this isn't, they can't base this on statistics or anything else. This is clearly the scouting staff of Pavel Dahl and a J.P. Ricciardi and people like that going out and looking at it. And now what you said about left-handed hitting in that ballpark, it's so Jason Bay has not pulled a home run yeah. at City Field. In I, I, I mean, it's, it's still quite a gamble. You know, I mean, that, oh, yeah. that needs to be said. I mean, th this is a gamble. This is a kid who clearly has not had the opportunity to participate and be evaluated like others. And we've seen a lot of players have great workouts. But workouts are different than a game. You know, but he did last summer get out and play in the Aflac game, get different things like that, some great exposure. It's a gamble, but I like the gamble with what the Mets have been able to try to do. But you, you, it's a big gamble. In case you're wondering how he dealt with the weather, he had uh, behind his house a barn that had a uh, batting cage and a pitching machine. So that's how Nimmo was able to stay honed in on his baseball skills. With the 12th selection of the 2012 first-year player draft, the New York Mets select Gavin Caccini, a shortstop from Barbie High School, Lake Charles, Louisiana. The Chicago White Sox have the next pick. Gavin Cicchini, a speedster, strong glove, could keep him at short in the majors. There's a chance he moves to second base, so that gets him to the big league sooner. His bat has scouts buzzing. Cicchini let Barbie High School to the state tournament in Louisiana, hitting 406 with a 521 on base percentage, seven home runs, five doubles, 32 RBIs as a senior. He's also been a tear on the base pass. Listen to this. He's a perfect 29 for 29 stealing bases this year. I know it's high school baseball. That's still awesome. Again, game changer. 
changing speed. His brother Garen was a third baseman drafted in the fourth round by the Red Sox back in 2010. So Gavin has baseball in his family. Gavin Giacchini uh, has been drawing comparisons to Zach Cozart of the Reds. But, you know, Jonathan, when you look at him, What's the, what, do you, what, what do you make of him? Well, I think there's a little more speed there. He, he's one of those guys that uh, I think scouts uh, give the really complimentary label of a baseball player. He just loves to be out on the field, uh, and, that, and that undersells his tools a little bit because he can flat out run. Uh, even if he doesn't stay at shortstop, he can move over and be a really good second baseman. His brother got a little bit more uh, of the power. He got the wheels. And I tell you what, I've got an 11-year-old son. I'm going to send him to Glenn Cicchini, his dad, who coached both kids, because clearly something, <laughs> something's going on right down there. It's something, right. I tell you what, I love the Zach Cozart comparison. I, I see that an awful lot with Gavin, but um, special moment for him. Yes, uh, Sam Ryan standing by with Gavin Cicchini, who's just been drafted by the Mets. Sam. By the New York Mets, another NL East team. Gavin Cicchini, congratulations. And what do you think of the blue and orange? Uh, it's great. I'm really, I'm, I'm speechless right now because it's a dream come true. It really is. What about the possibility of playing alongside David Wright? That's all, it'd be awesome. You know, I went to a pre-draft workout uh, the 1st of June over here, and I talked to him for, for about 15 minutes, and it was like one of my best friends, you know, he said, you know, hope we're teammates in a few years. So obviously, you know, we're going to be teammates, so it's awesome. I know your brother is in the Red Sox farm system, had a big five RBI night last week. What kind of advice has he given you to as far as transitioning to the pros? Right, you know, he just tells me that it's, a, it's an everyday grind, but he, he knows that I love the game and he loves the game too. And it's, it's, it's awesome, you know, to be able to play a game and, and get paid to do it. You know, there's nothing better than that. So. So you saw Andrew Heaney go to the Marlins, the possibility of facing an Andrew Heaney fastball now in the NL East. What do you think of that? Well, that that'd be awesome. You know, we both have the same advisors, and, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd love to face great pitchers. The 11th selection of the 2013 first-year player draft, the New York Mets select Dominic Smith, <laughs> a first baseman from Una Pera Sara High School, Gardena, California. The Seattle Mariners have the next pick. Yeah, all I know the last time the Mets took a youngster out of L.A., his name was yeah. Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> so uh, this may be the best left-handed bat come out of L.A. since Daryl Strawberry. So uh, they feel pretty good about kids out of L.A. A great moment for Dominic Smith, a good look at Daryl Strawberry as he smiles and claps for the pick of the New York Mets. Shaking hands with the other guys that are here inside Studio 42. Here he is putting on the Mets uni. What an awesome moment. Yeah, it is. Uh, sweet swing in Dominic Smith. And they, the Mets not only got a talented player that's a corner bat that's going to come, they got a great makeup kid. This guy's going to get, they're going to get the very best that he has to give. It's a great pick for the Mets. Again, Dominic Smith, one of the best left handed bats, hit 493, seven home runs, 37 RBIs. Here's a photo, Dominic, you don't want to lose. See in the big league. Here it is with Commissioner Bud Selig. One of the most important photographs of his lifetime. Let's meet this Under Armour All-America alumni, Dominic Smith. My name is Dominic Smith. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I play first base in outfield. A little bit of all five tools. That's the scout I report on myself. I'm out of my game after like three players. Robinson Cano, like his swagger and the way he can hit. And then Carlos Gonzalez, uh, I like how he plays the outfield. At first base, I'm out of my game after Mark Teixeira. Five years, I see myself playing in the big leagues. But if not, I just want to uh, graduate with my degrees and open up a couple restaurants, because I like to cook. He likes to cook. Dominic Smith, some great video here. I know we're all a big fan of the way this guy swings the ball. Well, this kid's been in, in the Urban Youth Academy since age 11. So this is a, a big thing with him and J.P. Crawford, with Daryl Miller and the group out in California. They're real familiar with him. I think the Mets have been out there a lot, spent time there. So this is a big thing for baseball. We've tried to revive baseball in the inner cities, and we haven't had kids out of the inner cities getting picked. And this is a great, great thing for baseball today from that front alone, not just the fact this kid maybe had the best offensive bat in the draft. Yeah, it is. Uh, and Harold, you've talked about it here over the last week about athletes getting the draft. That's what we're trying to find. They got a good one here in Dom Smith. Sam Ryan is standing by with Dominic Smith. And an emotional Dominic Smith. I know New York is a long way from California, but your thoughts right now, Dom? Uh, I'm off for words, and uh, this is a great honor and opportunity, and uh, I can't wait to get out there. So. 
When you think about the excitement on the New York Mets right now with young Matt Harvey pitching for them, this is an infield that includes David Wright. What do you, what are your thoughts when you think about that? It's, a, it's an incredible team, and David Wright is a Hall of Fame potential player. Matt Harvey is a great young guy, and hopefully I could come up and help the team out. With the 10th selection of the 2014 first-year player draft, the New York Mets select Michael Conforto, an outfielder from Oregon State University, Corvallis, Oregon. The Toronto Blue Jays have the next pick, and they are now on the clock. So the Mets take Michael Conforto, who brings one very important to tool to the ballpark every day. It's left-handed power. After passing up the opportunity to play quarterback in college, this guy went to Oregon State, had one of the best freshman campaigns in school history, hitting 13 homers, driving in a program, single season record, 76 runs. He racked up 11 bombs in 2013, and this season he was pitched around, hit just seven long balls, but did drive in 56 with a staggering on-base percentage of over 500. He does strike out too much for some scouts, has a bit of an uppercut swing, but some scouts compare him to Anthony Rizzo of the Cubs. Uh, again, Michael Conforto, as you take a look at the table, you got Frank Viola, Mike Piazza, Jim Reeves are all smiling. They like this guy. John, do you? I love this guy. Look, this, uh, we talked earlier about those college bats that if you want to get them, you're going to have to reach up to get them. Look, this guy had a tremendous career at Oregon State, number one. Number two, he's got great splits. You talk about strikeouts to walk, 51 uh, walks, 35 strikeouts. This guy's a hitter. He's an advanced hitter. He's going to be quick to the big leagues. It's a perfect fit for the Mets. Uh, they've, they've jumped some high school guys here lately, uh, you know, Caccini, uh, you know, Dominic Smith last year. This guy's going to come in a hurry, great mm -hmm. makeup, he's going to play adequate left field. I, I think it's a good pick for the Mets. They're going to like this bat. It's a mid-order hitter and rather quickly. With the 19th selection in the 2016 MLB draft, the New York Mets select Justin Dunn, a right-handed pitcher from Boston College in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. The 20th selection of the 2017 MLB draft, the New York Mets select David Peterson, a left-handed pitcher from the University of Oregon in Eugene, Oregon. The Baltimore Orioles have the next selection. David Peterson was a top 100 draft prospect three years ago, but broke his leg his senior season, and the Oregon Ducks profited. After two underwhelming seasons of college baseball, he really put it all together this year. Uh, his stock soared when he struck out 20 batters against Arizona State. He's 6'6", 240, features a curveball, strong changeup to go with a 94-mile-an-hour heater. That stuff led to a monster year, going 11-4 and four with an ERA around two and a half. David Peterson to the New York Mets. The sixth selection of the 2018 MLB draft, the New York Mets select Jared Kelnick, an outfielder. Jared's an outfielder from Waukesha West High School in Waukesha, Wisconsin. The San Diego Padres have the next selection. Jared Kelnick is the first Badger State product ever drafted in the top ten. And here's Jared life. Kelnick. I play center field I'm from Waukesha, Wisconsin. I'm somebody that brings a lot of passion to the game, but sometimes I like to mess around at the same time. What some people don't know about me is I like romantic movies. Heart Attack by Demi Lovato. Make me want to act like a girl. Pay my dues and wear high heels. Yes, you make me so nervous that you just can't hold your hand. Oh, I draft him, too. Why y'all do that to him? He's going to New York City. <laughs> well, it worked out for Brandon Nimmo. How about this? This Louisville commit played on a travel team this spring instead of his high school team because of the tough weather in Wisconsin. And Nimmo was from Wyoming to play high school baseball. It worked out with Nimmo. We'll see if it works out with Kelnick. Bill Ripken standing by with more on Jared Kelnick. Okay, pure hitter and gamer. I got a first-hand look at this guy in Chicago, the home run derby in that game. He didn't advance. My man was hacked. He wants to play. He wants to compete. And when I look at this guy, they talk about for his age, maybe the best pure hitter in the draft. Uh, this swing is easy. He has a good idea at home plate during the game that night. Base hit the other way right here on a 92 mile an hour fastball. He said, hello, Tristan. I'll see you in June at the draft, big fella. I won't see you too long here, though, because I'm running. I'm gone. I'm stealing the bag. My man can hit. 
He can play the game. And this play really jumped out at me. Going to the corner in Wrigley. Making this play and making this throw into second base is awesome. This is a big league ballpark. That's deep down the right field corner. Great angle, great understanding of the game. So this kid, Jared Kelnick, I think he's going to get into the minor league system. I think he's going to swing the bat. He's going to prove to people he knows how to play the game. And more importantly, he wants to play the game every single day. Uh, that's a great breakdown. Bill saw him firsthand. You know, Bill does that Under Armour All-American game out in Chicago every year, so he gets a chance to see this guy. Look, I, I, I watched him in, in a few of these showcase-type games. I love the fact he's athletic. I've heard he's compared to a Grady Sizemore type of body. But when I watched him swing just outside of a game in BP, he reminded me of the power of, like, a Logan Morrison type swing. So this kid's very athletic. I don't know what they're going to end up doing with him, but he's going to get in the system and go. And I love the fact there's a lot of upside. You heard about his story of not playing different games and stuff like that because of the weather. And I think the upside is still sitting right there perfectly for him. You dig the cold weather, guys. I love it, man. I know you do.